The Multiple Personalities of the Covert Narcissist Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are about to embark on a fascinating journey into the complex world of the covert narcissist. Have you ever wondered what really goes on behind the scenes of their lives? What is the secret life that these individuals lead? It is a story of two faces, one that they carefully construct for the public to see, and another that remains hidden from view, filled with manipulation and emotional abuse. In this deep dive, we will uncover the stark contrast between the polished public image that covert narcissists present and the harsh reality that unfolds when the doors are closed. Join me as we unravel the intricate web of the covert narcissist's double life. Before we dive deeper into this topic, I would like to take a moment to welcome those of you who are new to my channel. If you enjoy our discussions and insights, please consider subscribing and make sure to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Now, let's focus on the covert narcissist. We will explain in detail some of the key differences between how they present themselves to the outside world and how they manipulate, control, abuse, and deceive people behind closed doors. While covert narcissists may be less overtly aggressive than their overt counterparts, they are still narcissists at their core. They possess the same tendencies for control and deceit, but they are simply more adept at hiding these behaviors from others. It is important to remember that the primary motivation for all narcissists is control. This desire for control drives their abusive behaviors, and the covert narcissist is no exception. However, some of their manipulation tactics are somewhat unique. In fact, their double lives can be particularly difficult to uncover, and the revelations are often shocking to those who discover the truth. So let's begin our exploration. The first point we will discuss is what I refer to as intrusive control. In public, the covert narcissist often presents themselves as polite and respectful, someone who appears to genuinely care about the privacy of others. They work very hard to create an image that suggests they respect your boundaries and personal space, much like any ordinary person you might encounter in your daily life. Covert narcissists understand basic societal norms, and they go to great lengths to ensure their public persona aligns with acceptable behaviors. Pretending to honor and respect the rights of others is a crucial part of their act. However, once the doors are closed and they are in private, this facade falls away, revealing a very different individual. Behind the scenes, they invade your privacy in ways that may be shocking. This intrusive behavior can extend to anyone in their lives, family members, close friends, co-workers, romantic partners, siblings, or even neighbors. The invasiveness can be as blatant as reading your personal diaries or text messages without your permission. It can also involve more subtle forms of intrusion, such as eavesdropping on your conversations, trying to glean insights into your thoughts and feelings, or gathering information they can later use against you. This could even manifest into more serious tactics and potentially criminal behaviors, such as stalking and spying. In these extreme cases, covert narcissists may follow you to gather information about your life, or they might go so far as to set up hidden cameras in your home, car, or workplace. It is crucial to understand that their use of intrusive control is not merely an invasion of your personal space, it is a calculated means of exerting control and manipulation. By being privy to your secrets and vulnerabilities, they are better equipped to maintain power over you. This knowledge allows them to stay one step ahead, manipulating your thoughts and emotions while keeping up their false public persona. This behavior exemplifies the stark contrast between the image they project in public and the reality of their actions in private. Another striking example of the double life led by a covert narcissist, and the hypocrisy inherent in their character, can be seen in how they exploit the vulnerabilities of others for their own personal gain. In public, covert narcissists often appear incredibly empathetic, understanding, and completely trustworthy. They excel at creating a facade that draws people in, making it difficult for others to see their true nature. However, behind closed doors, it is not uncommon for these narcissists to use private and personal information against those they target. For instance, a covert narcissist may take secrets shared by one of their children in confidence and use that information as a weapon, manipulating the child to maintain control. They might also leverage the past mistakes of their spouse during disagreements, throwing these mistakes in their face to induce feelings of guilt and shame. 
This tactic is part of a larger cycle of devaluation, where the narcissist seeks to keep their partner in a constant state of self-blame, making them feel indebted to the narcissist for their emotional well-being. Furthermore, a covert narcissist might exploit a coworker's fears and insecurities regarding their job performance, using that knowledge to pressure the coworker into compliance with their demands. They can manipulate someone's financial vulnerabilities by controlling access to money and resources, using threats to withdraw financial support from those who depend on them. These tactics are not foreign to the covert narcissist, they are tools of domination and control that they wield with skill. In public, however, this behavior is in stark contrast to the image they present to the world. Most people who are not privy to the covert narcissist's true nature would find it hard to believe that such manipulative tactics are part of their modus operandi when they think no one is watching. Another example of the drastic difference between a covert narcissist's public persona and private behavior is their use of selective targeting. Publicly, the covert narcissist presents a facade of fairness and equality. They often act as if they treat everyone with the same level of respect and kindness, whether it is their friends, children, or extended family members. This carefully constructed image can fool many into believing they are genuinely benevolent. However, if you inadvertently cause a narcissistic injury, such as criticizing them or challenging their authority, you better watch out. Covert narcissists are known for their ability to hold grudges, and if you anger them, they will seek some form of revenge. This is where their selective targeting comes into play. They may choose to focus their anger and disdain on the person who has displeased them, often using subtle or passive-aggressive tactics to undermine that individual. This behavior can manifest in various harmful ways, one of which is spreading malicious rumors about individuals they feel angry with. These rumors can be based on real information that the person shared with them in confidence or could be completely fabricated lies. Often, Covert narcissists will present this information to others as if it comes from a place of genuine concern and love. They might say they are worried about the person's well-being, when in reality, their intentions are entirely different. By framing their smear campaign in this way, they cleverly disguise their cruelty and manipulation, making it seem as though they are simply caring for someone they deeply value. Another tactic that covert narcissists may employ is sabotaging important opportunities for their targets. For example, if someone is up for a promotion at work, the covert narcissist might undermine their chances by spreading doubt about their abilities or creating obstacles that hinder their progress. This can also extend to work projects or presentations, where the narcissist may subtly interfere to ensure failure, thereby asserting control over their target. Additionally, covert narcissists often engage in social isolation tactics, working diligently behind the scenes to turn a person's family, friends, or colleagues against them. This manipulation technique, known as triangulation, allows them to maintain control by creating division and mistrust among those close to the person they want to undermine. In a romantic relationship, a covert narcissist may withhold love, affection, intimacy, or emotional support until their partner complies with their demands. This creates an unhealthy dynamic where the partner feels they must constantly earn the narcissist's approval and affection. The commitment of covert narcissists to their agendas is often remarkably intense, which means this kind of manipulative behavior can persist for days, weeks, months, or even years in extreme cases. Their relentless pursuit of control can have devastating effects on the mental and emotional well-being of those around them. Another significant discrepancy between a covert narcissist's public image and their private behavior is their emotional instability and mood swings. In public, the people who know the narcissist often view them as the epitome of stability. They may see the narcissist handle various situations with remarkable composure, leading many to believe that the narcissist embodies class and grace. To outsiders, they seem calm and steady, showcasing an image of someone who has everything under control. However, behind closed doors, the reality is starkly different. Covert narcissists often live on an emotional roller coaster, subjecting everyone in their household to dramatic mood swings and emotional outbursts. When they feel safe and are away from individuals they consider important, they can alternate between expressions of affection and intense anger or withdrawal. This erratic behavior keeps family members on edge, making them feel anxious and more compliant to the narcissist's wishes. 
Moreover, covert narcissists may use threats of abandonment as a manipulation tactic. They might threaten divorce or express a desire to leave the family as a way to exert control and get their way. This kind of emotional manipulation is designed to instill fear and guilt in their loved ones, ensuring that they remain compliant and do not challenge the narcissist's authority. Guilt tripping is another common tactic employed by covert narcissists. They oscillate between showing intense affection and then withdrawing, leaving family members feeling guilty for perceived or imaginary wrongdoings. This creates a toxic environment where family members feel they must constantly strive to please the narcissist to avoid emotional fallout. Emotional blackmail is yet another technique that covert narcissists frequently use. They may threaten to self-harm or feign an emotional breakdown to manipulate their family into complying with their demands. This extreme emotional instability places immense pressure on family members, conditioning them to behave in ways that prevent these outbursts from occurring. Unfortunately, individuals who only interact with the covert narcissist in public are often completely unaware of this darker side. They may have no idea that beneath the composed exterior lies a person capable of profound manipulation and emotional cruelty. Another fact that many people would find shocking about covert narcissists is their frequent use of scapegoating and blame shifting as tools to manipulate and control those around them. Publicly, these individuals often present themselves as reasonable and effective problem solvers. They may appear calm and collected, giving the impression that they can handle issues in a fair and rational manner. However, behind closed doors, the reality is quite different. Like all narcissists, covert narcissists are keen to avoid any form of accountability or responsibility for actions they perceive as negative. Instead of reflecting on their behavior and making necessary changes, they engage in tactics that deflect blame onto others. One of the primary methods they use is to unfairly blame and scapegoat specific family members, effectively diverting attention from their own shortcomings. This tactic allows them to maintain a facade of innocence while placing the burden of responsibility on someone else. Additionally, covert narcissists often set unrealistic expectations for particular family members demanding perfection and imposing unattainable goals. When these family members inevitably fail to meet such absurd standards, the narcissist seizes the opportunity to blame and ridicule them for their perceived shortcomings. This creates a toxic environment where the scapegoated individual feels inadequate and constantly criticized. Moreover, covert narcissists frequently project their own flaws and mistakes onto the family member they have chosen to scapegoat. For example, if a covert narcissist struggles with anger management, they might accuse the scapegoated family member of being overly emotional or angry. This shifting of blame further reinforces the narcissist's control, as it allows them to escape accountability while keeping the focus away from their own issues. Another insidious control tactic that covert narcissists employ, which most people never witness, is their use of isolation. In public, they appear welcoming, friendly, and sociable but behind closed doors, they work diligently to keep their targets cut off from their support systems. By limiting outside influences and connections, they can maintain a tighter grip on their victims, making it easier to manipulate and control them. For instance, if someone is in a romantic relationship with a covert narcissist, the narcissist may begin to plant seeds of doubt about the trustworthiness of the victim's family and friends. They might suggest that these people are disloyal or that they have ulterior motives, creating a sense of distrust. This tactic is designed to isolate the victim further, making them more dependent on the narcissist for emotional support and validation. Covert narcissists also work to undermine their victim's confidence and self-esteem. They do this gradually, criticizing their abilities, appearance, and sense of worth. By eroding the victim's self-confidence, the narcissist makes them more reliant on their approval and validation. This dependency is precisely what the covert narcissist seeks, as it allows them to maintain control over their victim's emotions and actions. Additionally, they may discourage their victims from pursuing interests and hobbies, actively working to reduce opportunities for social interaction with others who share similar passions. In public, however, the covert narcissist behaves in an entirely different manner. They portray themselves as supportive partners, encouraging their loved ones to chase their dreams and engage in activities they enjoy, 
all while undermining these very pursuits behind the scenes. One of the most striking characteristics of covert narcissists is their tendency to present themselves as individuals with the highest ethics and values. It's not uncommon for these narcissists to be regular attendees at church or community events, where they project an image of being devoted to their marriage and dedicated to raising their children. They strive to appear as loving family members who prioritize the needs of their children above all else, creating an impression of a perfect family life. However, the truth is that when they are away from the scrutiny of the outside world, their behavior can be quite different. Like all narcissists, covert narcissists have an insatiable need for narcissistic supply, which manifests as a desire to feel special and superior to others. Unfortunately, this need can lead to behaviors such as engaging in extramarital affairs or repeatedly cheating on their partners, often using dating sites to find new sources of validation. It is not unusual for these narcissists to struggle with addictions, whether to pornography, drugs, or alcohol. Ironically, they often demonize and judge others who exhibit similar behaviors, despite engaging in them themselves. Covert narcissists are, in many ways, the epitome of hypocrisy. They create a facade that is disconnected from reality, pretending to be good and loyal spouses, loving and concerned parents, and trustworthy friends. However, their true actions reveal that they practice none of what they preach. The image they present to the world is merely an illusion, and those who are close to them often find themselves caught in a web of manipulation and deceit. Finally, covert narcissists often present themselves to the public as open-minded individuals who are genuinely interested in the viewpoints and opinions of others. They give the impression of being empathetic and willing to engage in meaningful conversations. However, when they are in private, their behavior drastically changes. In these more intimate settings, they exhibit what can be described as intellectual superiority. This means they often dismiss, ridicule, and belittle the ideas and opinions of those around them, including family members and even their own children. Covert narcissists tend to be among the most judgmental people, believing firmly that they possess all the answers and that their way of thinking is the only correct approach. If anyone dares to politely disagree or suggest an alternative viewpoint, they are likely to be met with contempt, silence, or a patronizing tone. This behavior not only stifles healthy discussions, but also creates an atmosphere of fear and intimidation. Often, the covert narcissist will express their so-called intellectual superiority through nonverbal cues. For example, they may roll their eyes in response to someone's comment, yawn to show their annoyance, or let out an exaggerated sigh to indicate displeasure. These nonverbal signals are powerful tools that effectively make their victims feel inferior and foolish. As a result, those around them may hesitate to voice their thoughts or opinions in the future, fearing ridicule or dismissal. Moreover, covert narcissists display a complete lack of shame when it comes to manipulating others to achieve their desires. They can be incredibly rude and cruel to the people who are closest to them yet their public persona remains polished and charming. This stark contrast often leaves those outside the home completely unaware of the toxic behavior that occurs behind closed doors. Covert narcissists are typically very concerned about their reputation and the public image they project. They lead two distinct lives, one that is carefully curated for public consumption and another that is filled with manipulation and emotional abuse at home. The experiences of those who live with a covert narcissist can be vastly different from the perception held by the outside world. As we wrap up, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment with your thoughts, share it with others who might benefit, and subscribe to my channel for more insights. Thank you for watching, everyone.